Since the inception of ERISA and the launch of the 401k market that shifted the burden of retirement from the company's defined benefit plan to the employee's defined contribution plan, sponsors, providers, and participants have been wrestling with issues like, who's responsible for this? Well, post the debacle of 2008 and 9, the Department of Labor has increasingly been coming down with the conclusion that indeed it is the sponsor or the employer who bears the brunt of the fiduciary liability. What that means in essence is that employers who write checks for their employees 401k plans are being set up for a new liability trap that will ensnare many of the unwitting participants in this new web of liability. The analogy that's often been given is that of a person, let's call that the participant, walking into a drugstore without a diagnosis and going to the back wall to pick out a medicine with no help from anyone. Who is liable if a mistake is made? The person, the store, or the unknown entity that didn't give them advice? In the world of 401ks, that really isn't such a bad analogy. The participants are most frequently not given any individual advice for how they should handle their investments nor are they given education on how to handle them. The typical relationship is a business owner contracting with a provider who offers a broad array of investment options, for example, target date funds, and then simply works to maintain that all of the T's are crossed and all of the I's are dotted to protect them, the provider, from fiduciary liability, not necessarily the sponsor. Yes, that's the employer. Lawsuits have started to pop up all over the place, holding the plan sponsors liable for many things. For example, for offered investment funds having costs that were too high. The really interesting thing to consider is that we've had a market run up since 2010, and these new fiduciary standards haven't even been stress tested. If employees are winning awards from the courts because fees are too high, what in the world do we think will happen when target date funds get run over because interest rates rise right when a person hits 65 and they're most heavily invested in bonds? Those funds could get cremated and the participant is going to look to someone as the responsible party. Who gave me those options? Who told me to use them? Who was supposed to look out for me? There are solutions to this liability trap and they're usually not that overly difficult to employ. Education of employees is one help. The Department of Labor has specifically stated that fiduciaries, yes, that's the employers, let me quote, have you provided sufficient information to employees to exercise control in making investment decisions, end quote. Secondly, many sources talk about a special fiduciary designation that certain advisors hold that can also help alleviate the fiduciary liability borne by plan sponsors. This information is critical to you as a business operator. The old adage, I'm not scared of what I don't know, but I'm terrified of not knowing what I don't know, couldn't be more true. Do you, as a plan sponsor, know of your embedded liability? Have you gotten the straight scoop from your provider? I doubt it. Now there's more to talk about regarding this, but now you may consider yourself forewarned. You now have the knowledge to know what you should know.